third place game. And Atlantis Jarkel Joyner, the Ole Miss transfer now playing for NC State. The Wolfpack get Butler here as we continue to count you down to NC State Butler and John, an opportunity for Manny Bates to go up against many old friends, right? Yeah, it's kind of cool. You got, I mean, this guy was out last year due to injury, so he gets a chance to come back and play in, in that senior season. He's a great shot blocker. He's got great timing. He's played around a lot of guards. He also understands how North Carolina State wants to play. I look for him to be in the middle and maybe pick up three or four shot blocks. Yeah. NC State and Butler trying to leave this tournament without losing two out of three games. Third place game in Atlantis. Enjoy Brilliant. the hoops. We'll see you back here at the half. <laughs> Lay out, Farty. <laughs> You're watching ESPN's Feast Week presented by Lowe's. Well, the champs, it's the Tennessee Volunteers, and they win this year's championship 64-50 in the championship game. Welcome to the Bad Boy Mowers Battle for Atlanta. It's got our fifth place game right here. Butler and NC State, and a couple of teams, even though the championship has been settled, pair of teams, one of whom's going to get out of here with a couple of wins, so an opportunity to collect another W. Welcome courtside, John Chomby and Jimmy Dykes. Happy Thanksgiving weekend wherever you are. Let's start on the NC State side. Jarkel Joyner, part of that backcourt, a guy that handles the ball well, transfer from Old Miss, he's played well. That NC State backcourt is electric. We throw in Terquavion Smith as backcourt running mate, but Jarkel Joyner, like you said, the transfer from Ole Miss, he's got a lot of stuff about him, man. He knocked down 27 points last night against Dayton. He's really, really good, Boog, in the mid-range game for a 6-1 guard. He's strong, he's tough, he plays low in traffic. He's an explosive scorer, as well as his running mate, for Terquavion Smith, who comes in averaging 17 as well. Up against them tonight, Former NC State Wolfpack Manny Bates was terrific as a shot blocker for a couple of years there at NC State. Had a lot of injuries at NC State. Felt like he just needed a fresh start. He is still very close, though, to that NC State team. And he can really change the game around the rim for Butler. Important ball game. One of these teams leaves here with two wins on the island. Bates jumps for Butler. Mohorcic for NC State. And ready to go here from the Imperial Arena. Bill Covington throwing it up, and Butler wins the tip. Let's take a look at our starting lineups. They're brought to you by Atlantis. First with Thad Mata and the Butler Bulldogs. Hunter, Harris, Taylor, Bates, and Lukosius. Butler without DJ Hughes tonight. Suffered a concussion last night. So Thad Mata has about eight guys to work with. Smith and Joyner, that well, both of those guys are capable of going to 20, 25 any night. Orsell here. And a turnover as that one gets out of bounds off of Jack Clark. Butler was in a 36 to 34 ball game on the, the opening night against Tennessee before it unraveled. And Tennessee just hoisted the trophy and walked out of here. This is a really well built small, fast Butler team. Yeah, Butler had the lead with 15 yeah. to go in that one against Tennessee. So that line has got to be feeling pretty good. There are two losses, that one to Tennessee and then also one against Penn State. Shot clock is winding down. Harris got to get something up. Harris, shot was short. And for Quavion Smith, might have rolled his ankle as he pulls down the rebound, and he's hurting. Traquavion Smith, who had such a sensational freshman year last year, he led the ACC in three-pointers. The last freshman to do that it was J.J. Redick, preseason, all ACC first team. And a guy that had a chance to probably go in the first round decided to come back. Just put on a little bit of weight. Yeah, Boo, he's an emerging star in the ACC. And he's got first round potential. Kind of depends on how his overall floor game develops this year. And normally when you're grabbing an ankle, you either step on someone's foot or someone's foot stepped on you. He's an explosive scorer that's had some monster games, right? Yeah, right there you see that thing roll out to the outside. 
Good news seam walking off. Yeah, yeah over the foot. Foot on foot, yeah. Rolled over the top of Lukosius. So that would end up being a big loss if he's not able to return. Their top scorer, Ernest Ross, checking in for the Wolfpack. Butler, another hard-nosed defensive ball club. Stick your nose on the numbers and guard yours. Nice job as Joyner rejected the screen, went right at the basket and spun it home, using the rim as protection and one. He is so quick with the ball. He just kind of stares it down a little bit and kind of lulls you into sleep, but when he decides to go, he is fast and he is low. Look how low he got with that ball. Hard to keep out of the lane, and he is tremendous with a mid-range pull-up. Being told by our stat guru, Mike Swanson, that that is Eric Hunter's first foul. Is this the biggest lead, or was it two to nothing? It was two to nothing. But stay tuned. <laughs> Swanee is on it. <laughs> That's good news for everybody, yeah, right? It is. Horchitz able to get a, a hand on that to deflect it out of bounds. But Horchitz is a horse, is what he is. And he plays the game with a chip on both shoulders and loves it when it becomes a, a tug of war around the rim. And he wins most of those battles. Bad oh, pass. Clark with a steal. And he stepped out of bounds on the sideline. And it goes back to Butler. I'm impressed with NC State's defensive pressure, though, Boog, to start the game. Half-court defense has been locked in, and right there, that's a difficult corner to inbounds it from, and not for the step out. Clark's headed for an easy two. Kevin Keats, his sixth year at NC State. Last year, a forgettable season, 21 losses. Trying to get the Wolfpack back to the NCAA tournament. Lukosius, soft balance. Smith the rebound. Everything's tough for Butler early on the offensive end. Sprint out ball screen, trying to get Smith downhill. Bohorchich, and he's rejected by Bates. That's what he does. What a tremendous one on one defense to play on the post by Manny Bates. Rattled in and out from Taylor. They had a foul inside. I think they got that one on Mahorchich. If you're a shot blocker, you got a couple of things going for you. You're long and you're quick off your feet. Watch Bates, right? Bam, how quickly he elevates. It's a tremendous knack and timing out of 15 in blue around the rim. Good rebound by Clark, and here's Joyner. State by a point, Jarkel Joyner. That wouldn't go. What a quick step. <laughs> it's a good miss, though, right? Bates the baseline jumper. That's short. Good look. Smith able to find Clark. There's a very small window that Smith had to look through and work through. And appreciate the effort by Clark to get out in front of the defense for the easy two. Good back cut and a layup from Eric Puncher, the transfer from Purdue. Butler is really well coached. They don't fight pressure with pressure. They try to burn it off of those back cuts and they just got one in the first few minutes. Smith from way down job. Puncher the rebound. The 
Cut. Cocious finding a cutting Taylor and puts it in. They're one of the better cutting teams in this tournament. Right there with Tennessee in terms of that off-ball movement, but again, you overplay and pressure and deny. They burn it off really well with those weak side cuts. Lacocious with a good find and a good finish by Jaden Taylor. The ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Bad Boy Mowers. Builds a better mower. Mow with an attitude. Atlantis, Paradise Island, Bahamas at heart. And movement, the cleanest watches in the game. Hey, welcome back. And Butler with a one-point lead. Pink just turned us down for a picture. I'm down on Pink right now. Yeah, me too. All right, that mod of coaching career. It started at Butler and quickly able to move on and had the success at Xavier and then off to Ohio State where he ended up coming up with a couple of Final Four appearances, 337 wins. And now back at Butler. Yeah, nine NCAA tournament appearances and the two Final Fours. Yeah, there he is. Boogie's trying to rebuild that Butler brand. And it has dropped off for the last few years to just kind of another program in the state of Indiana. But remember this, still the only team from Indiana to reach back-to-back -back title games, Butler. Not Indiana, not Purdue, not Notre Dame, Butler. Yeah, those teams were about as physical yes. as teams could be. Burns inside. And that one rolls out, out of bounds. And it belongs to Butler. Burns is an entertaining guy. He's 6'9 and probably 275 for NC State. Such soft paws around the rim. Conditioning becomes a factor a little bit. Can he drag him into ball screens and make him pay defensively? But offensively now, this kid's a threat. Harris going to work here. Now Harris fires in and out. Hunter behind the back. Loose ball, eventually a kick out. Shot clock's under 10, so Basil hoist. And the rebound pulled down by Ross. One and done for Butler so far in this game. Which you join her so quick and crafty with the ball. He's a guy that you got to guard sometimes eight, nine into that tenth dribble before he'll give it up. Burns a little step back, and that one fall. He ain't kicking it out. He gets his paws on it. It's going up around that rim. Inside to Bates, and a good find by Harris. Really good job by Bates to run rim to rim right down the middle of the floor. A big guy catching it running full speed with soft hands. Hard to handle. Enter Quavion Smith knocks down the shot. They get a lot of firepower between Smith, Morcell, and Joyner. Yeah, especially Joyner and Smith, they can get their own off about any time they want. Sometimes that's good news, sometimes that's not. But they are a dangerous combo. Bates. Not able to hit. Joiner rebounds. He's going to keep shooting that 15 footer though, isn't he? He's taking three already. Smith had it rejected. Bates. And now Hunter weaving towards the basket. Had it blocked. Quavian Smith might have to think twice about the next time he goes at Bates. Bates didn't block the ball. He blocked the ball in the body of Quavian Smith. This is the finish at the other end, but the block by, block by Bates was spectacular. Taylor wide open and buries it. Jaden Taylor coming off a 20-point game against BYU. He's a good shooter, shooting right at 41% from the year from the three-point line. You've got to locate shooters on that baseline out of bounds under. Chase them all over the place and have no separation. Too easy for Taylor. 
Smith, good feed. Burns puts it in. So Smith learns quickly. He drove the ball right at Bates. Bates was attracted to the penetration and the easy dot and jump off for 30 and white. Dragging Burns into a middle ball screen. Burns trying to back up and drop coverage, and the ball just went right by him. Oh, my goodness. Wow! Oh, my goodness! <laughs> he will take and make some hard shots. That's an official measurement. Oh, my goodness <laughs> is. Your butler, though, man, you just... Had him on the butt and say play on. Yeah. That is one of the things, though, that's leaked into the college game is that sort of Steph Curry vacation yeah. where the shooting ranges continue to be drawn back. Wow. Joiner and one. Wow. He will be one of the most difficult guards to stay in front of in the ACC this year. Transfer from Ole Miss, a native of Oxford, Mississippi, he just wanted to one more shot at a new school in his career, Western Quavian Smith. I don't know if he's still on the logo or not when he lets it go. From Exuma. Yes, he is from the logo. Man, the distance deserved two oh my goshes. Look how strong and low and fast Double J is from NC State. And back here. In Atlanta, having a look at the Phil Knight Invitational, the men's bracket. Iowa State already pulling off the upset of number one, North Carolina. And UConn and Alabama currently on ESPN. So Iowa State awaiting the winner of that battle. And our game right here, 14 apiece, 11.51 to go. John Chomby and Jimmy Dykes. Here comes Jarkel Joyner, an opportunity at a three-point play. He has really elevated the voice in the timeout for NC State this year. His kids logged a lot of minutes. And for Quavian Smith told me on Tuesday that Jarkel's voice in the timeout is as good as he's ever been around. A confident kid. Strong voice, big motor, and a lot of game. Talking about number one in white. Miles Tate into the game. He's got the ball and a give off to Harris. Lost the handle briefly. Tate needs some help. Gets it to Taylor. Shot clock at five. Davis. And Manny Bates off the mark. Really good job by NC State to pin the ball on one side and not let it get reversed. I think that was off of Smith. It was. So it'll be Butler basketball. NC State leading it by a point. Jarkel Joyner with six. Koshis picks up his dribble, flips into Bates. Going to work on Mahorchic. Left hand, soft touch, nice move. Really nice move, because NC State was switching and denying everything else across the floor. Mahorchic was left with no chance to, with Bates on that left hand hook. Such a quick move out of 15 in blue. Morcell, jumper wouldn't fall, rebound by Bates. And that shot blocked by Morcell, Taylor. And Bates, a little too strong with the pass, turns it over. Well, Bates has settled for some 15-footers in this game early, but not this time. He does a good job of spinning off Mahorchich. 
and continues to work. Spin again, spin once, spin twice. Now he surveys the floor. NC State switches everything. There's nowhere to go to, so he goes to that right shoulder, left jump hook. Really well done by Bates. Ross feeding Mohorcic, backing down his left hand. Wouldn't fall, but the tip will go by Ross as he came flying in. Yeah, Ross is, that, that's what he does. Ross is just an energy guy, man. He's a, he only played for January 12th last year because of a fractured ankle, but he's got some pop about him. Jarkel Joyner, pull out of steam, pulls back three. And Marcel will track it down. Mohorcic inside, that'll go. And got some contact as well. Looked like to me that Bates came down on top of that shot arm, but Mohorcic, again, he's such a horse. A little bit of contact not going to knock him off the path. Don't reach. Bates. Cuts to the goal, offensive rebound, put back, rattles home. He has a very quick second jump, doesn't he, Bates? Yep. He's got six. The NC State transfer now with Butler. Foul on the floor. You know, at all star games and stuff, they have skills competition. I would volunteer a post competition between Mohorcic and Plopcic. Just the two of them, just posting down low and then go to the other end and then repost as a skill competition. <laughs> we, should, we should do that after this game. Yeah. Get Uros back in here. For the Tennessee Balls. How impressive were they taking down the third ranked Kansas Jayhawks for the championship? Just their defensive game plan and execution was as good as I've seen all year. Kansas never led. No. They made life miserable for Jalen Wilson and Grady Dick for 40 minutes. Looks like a mismatch, doesn't it? Burns backing down, gets inside. The layup would not fall. I've never seen a post player get to the rim and then try the reverse English like he just did. I've watched a lot of ball. Joiner inside and he gets fouled. One point NC State lead when we come back. Manny Bates getting a chance to play against his former teammates. Pretty much the whole, everybody who was there last year, even some of the new guys uh, uh, that are on the team this year that weren't there last year, I've, I've gotten a, a pretty good relationship with them too. So I'm still pretty close with the guys on that team. But if we do see, see each other on the court, it's all business. I can't, like we're not friends on the court though. That's all. He, like you, Duke Chami, is a beautiful human being. You talk to both staffs, NC State and Butler. They say the first thing about Manny Bates is you're not gonna find a better person. And he cares about his teammates. He cares about who he is as a person. Back as a freshman at NC State, he was the number one shot block rate in the country. But shoulder injury limited him to just one game last year at NC State. He only played 56 seconds in, in the first game, and he was done. Uh, injured that shoulder a minute into last season. And now with Buckman. You pull for guys like that. I do. You know, handle adversity, get hurt. Sure. Just looking for a... He's trying to change the mojo, so he goes to, to Butler. And they're counting on him. Butler is to be a big piece of their success this year. There's Thomas is checked in for Butler as Kate being harassed. Thomas handling it here. NC State has pressed full court about 60% of their possessions overall this year. It's always coming off of a dead ball situation from 94 feet away. Clock winding down, got to get something going. And 
Thomas knocked it out of bounds. Jane Taylor couldn't hit on the three. Quavion Smith getting at the basket. Turnbull got a piece of it. And here comes Butler. Good look up ahead. Ball fake Harris and the deuce. And we're tied. I'm with you though. What a pass from Pierce Thomas, a redshirt freshman. Just threw a bullet bounce pass from about 25 feet away. Right to the belt level of Thomas. inside and rolls that one home he just has a knack doesn't he yeah. and I don't know when his playing days will be over after college or beyond but he's going to be a force for YMCA he's got some of that old man game yes he does right now the win from transfer that one in and out Thomas came flying in do they call foul or do they stay out of bounds? Foul on Pierce Thomas. What's this pass I'm talking about? Pierce Thomas gets it. Bam, just throws a, a bullet from about 25 feet in a... You can't throw a harder, longer bounce pass more accurate than what Pierce Thomas just threw. The former Indiana State long jump champion. He's got a whole other level in terms of the around the rim rebounder. He can just go get it. Did you run track? I did. 400, 800 type stuff. So what, like Edwin Moses? No, 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 no. That's too on. I was never concerned. Of, well, I was never compared to Edwin Moses, except Jimmy Dykes is no Edwin Moses. <laughs> There's a soft pause again by Perry. Bill Self talked to me today about running the 400 and the 800. He said, everyone told me the 400 was the toughest race, so I ran it, and then they told me to run the 800, and I'm like, why do I want to do the hardest thing in the world twice? Twice. Yeah. Harris can't hit. Clark gives off to Jarkel Joyner, and she stayed by four, looking to add. And they get it down to Burns. I don't think Burns has passed one time in this tournament when he's caught it on the low block. Research is working on it, but I'm pretty sure he has not. A travel and a turnover and it's NC State basketball. And you know what? I'm okay with that. I mean, he's, Burns is who he is. He's shooting 55% from the floor. I wouldn't want him throwing it back out either. Sure. Big year for NC State. You, know, you look at Virginia right now, Duke, North Carolina, but they would probably be picked above NC State. Obviously they were, but I, I like this NC State squad. They got a lot of pieces, size, electric guards, they guard you. Burns inside and he gets fouled, he'll shoot two. All right, so Phil Knight Legacy Men's Bracket. Duke already a winner over Xavier, and they await the winner of Purdue and Gonzaga. That's coming up 11.30 Eastern, so we'll catch a little bit of that. I'm really intrigued to watch Zach Eady, the 7-4 kid for Purdue, match up against Drew Timmy. And Zach Eady's off to a fantastic start. He's averaging plus 20 points and plus 10 boards. Can he stay on the floor tonight and not get in foul trouble against a driving, spinning, footwork star in Drew Timmy? That will be fascinating to watch. Burns will sit. That's good. And Mohorcic will check in. How about DJ Burns? A good stretch for him, wasn't it? No doubt. And they throw it away. Here comes Clark. Six turnover on the Bulldogs. Jumper. And a rebound pulled down by Harris. Lukosius now. That's a three. Joiner can 
contested. Butler the other way, Lukosius feeds Pierce Thomas, who can't hit. The degree of difficulty of the last two shots is really high. Joiner on one end, Pierce on the other. Under four to go here in the first half of NC State by five. John Chambi, Jimmy Dykes, Bad Boy Mowers battle for Atlantis. We've crowned our champion, Tennessee, knocking off number three, Kansas. Great win for Rick Barnes' team. Morcell, bucket, and the lead for NC State is seven. You can't hard cut to the ball into a jump shot any better than what Morcell just did. He came from the weak side and sprinted to that low elbow area, just elevated and popped into a shot. And a foul on Morcell. It's a 7-0 run. Biggest lead of the game for NC State. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Lowe's. It's the best place to get everything you need for the holidays. Back here in the Bahamas, if you missed it, we crowned our champ earlier tonight. Tennessee and Santiago Vescovi. Sakai Ziegler knocking down some big shots, and they were able to knock off number three, Kansas Ziegler. Jimmy Dykes gave him that lift and kind of really got that game going in Tennessee's direction. Yeah, he flipped the game in the second half. He has a knack to do it. Vescovi was big tonight from that three-point line. Just a hard-fought heavyweight fight between the Kansas Jayhawks, who came in with a 17-game winning streak, and Tennessee put a stop to it. They walk away as the bad boy mowers battle for Atlanta's champions, and well-deserved. Their defensive game plan and their execution, they guarded the ball with anger, they rebounded the ball with a vengeance, and they walk away with a really cool trophy because of it. So the volunteers are your champs. You ever seen a trophy with a shell on it? Now I have. That, that, that was cool. Butler been in a bit of a scoring drought. Lukosius, high arcing three. That wouldn't fall, but a rebound pulled down by Harris. A four minute scoring drought for Butler. And now a turnover. Pass with the left hand, scoops it up and in. Those, guard, pass. those guards of NC State now, they can rip it and run with speed that is uncommon. There's three of them, Pass and Joyner and Smith. They all have another gear, man. And a turnover, it'll go the other way. Eight turnover on Butler. Kevin Keats got to be happy with the job. His defense has been doing, holding Butler to just 32% from the field. He bring on pass, tucked away down here, number 10 in white. He was a four-star football recruit out of high school. Oh, Horchich off the feed from Terquavion Smith. A lot of athletes, a lot of speed. They have size. I really like their club. Butler's got their hands full right now. He's stayed up 11. They look quicker at every spot through the Wolfpack. It was tied at 20. It's an 11 0 NC State run. Harris, left hand, short. Mahorchich. Clark will try. Taylor lost the handle, saved it. Now it's two on one. Morcell, Clark, puts it in. An NC State team, Boog, as you know, only won 11 games last year. And they have completely turned their program around with some portal transfers, with some maturity, some speed and toughness right now to Kevin Keats' guys. Keats has. This is a sprint out ball screen by Mahorchich that gets downhill for Terquavian Smith. 
Sprint it out, bam, set it. Kerquavian Smith now has a chance to get downhill and runs right back out of it, does Mahorchus. It was a touch and go play set up by the sprint out ball screen and dive hard to the rim by Mahorchus. Really well done. Inside, I believe they got Mahorchus. Yep. And Burns. We'll check back in, Mohorcic will sit. Thirty-three twenty, NC State. Feed on the baseline, and Harris. Yeah, you've got to, you've got to get behind that defensive pressure. Burn it off a little bit with a back cut, play behind it. NC State right now, they have no fear sticking their nose right in Butler's jersey and challenging that ball. Smith picks up the dribble and now Gives off Porcel, telling the shot clock. No pass it. <laughs> That's a no, Jimmy. Bucket. And Burns now with nine. Why pass it when they can't guard you? He's too big. He gets right around that six foot range. He's got a very nice touch, six, seven, eight feet out. Lukosius can't hit, out of bounds, NC State basketball, 4.2 to go. Smith has plenty of time to, with the speed of he and pass. They can easily get this thing to the rim in four seconds. Mm. 35-22, NC State with the lead at the half. Let's send it back to the studio. Kevin Connors, John Crispin, Sean Farnham. All right, Boog, a big-time finish for the Wolf Pack to that first half, 13-point. From Winthrop with love, DJ Burns, the big guy. 13-point Wolf Pack lead. NC State's getting a dose of Manny Bates, the former Wolfpack player. Butler down 13. They had to go up, up against him, too. Yes, that's true. Welcome to Feast Week, presented by Lowe's and the Bad Boy Mowers. Battle for Atlantis. The band sounds great. We're at the half, and NC State leading 35-22. This game was tied at 20, and NC State went on a 15-2 run. John Chomby, Jimmy Dykes, hope you're having a great Thanksgiving weekend wherever you are. We're in the Bahamas. What could be better? <laughs> All right, so as far as NC State is concerned, we talked so much about their guards, but DJ Burns, big body, down low, yes. coming off the bench, and he helped them out with nine points. Man, Boog, he produced, didn't he? He played, what, eight and a half minutes, I think? Nine points, and what, four out of five from the... Four out of eight from the field, making half of his shots. He's such a big body kid, though, with soft hands, really good feet. He's quick when he makes his moves. He's just too much for Butler to handle inside. And the other thing I like about NC State, they play really fast. They only had three turnovers, but make no mistake, DJ Burns has kind of anchored the game and set the rules how it's going to be played in the first 20 minutes. They're going to pound away on the inside offensively. Jimmy, our first half stats are brought to you by Complete Sports Management. NC State, 48% from the floor in the first half. Neither team shot it well from three, but NC State took care of the basketball and turned 10 Butler turnovers into 16 points. And a good start here to the second half of the Wolfpack. About the bat, Kevin Keats makes sure that his inside game gets a touch early. Now those guards need to go get their own. Kevin Keats has to bounce his offense Sometimes with play calls, good job to get Mahorchitz an easy one. Luke, if you 
remember NC State, they gave Kansas all they wanted in game one in this tournament. Bill Self had tremendous things to say about the Wolfpack after that one. And I just think they're going to be a real factor in the ACC this year. There's a lot of time left in this ball game. There's a lot of stuff I like about this team in white. Porchich back in down. Bates might have gotten a piece. Way beyond Smith, not able to hit. Clark. And Mahorchich, the offensive rebound, the putback, and it is all Wolfpack. Mahorchich now with eight, and the lead is 17. NC State was one of the worst rebounding teams in the ACC last year. They have fixed that problem with Mahorchich, Burns. Clark gives him a good, another rebounder on the glass. Taylor puts it on the floor and reverses it, spins it in. Taylor's got some game. I know he did. Butler's kind of undermanned right now. Only eight guys warming up at halftime. That's what Thad has to work with tonight. But don't give up on these Butler Bulldogs if you're a Bulldog fan. It's, it's a long year. They got to get healthy. Misses some key pieces right now, the final night in Atlantis. Mohorcic plus tax. And he'll go to the line. Just really good position, low post basketball by Mahorchich. He's a kid that played at Utah last year. Look at that low post position. He's low, he's wide, he gets an angle. Just goes right through Bates. This is his fifth school in five years, Dushan Mahorchich. Start off at Lewis College, then Moberly Junior College, Illinois State, Utah. Now at NC State, and he's a real anchor inside for Kevin Keats. From Serbia, and having himself a nice game with 10 points and four rebounds. And a combo of he and Burns in this one has been really good. Jumper will fall for Taylor. He says, let's go. Yeah, the defense was good. The offense was just better. More sell. You can't do any more than you did as an on-ball defender. Taylor just jumps up and sticks one. Bill Knight legacy, the women's bracket. And you got number nine, Iowa, against number three, UConn. And that's the championship that comes your way at 1 Eastern on ABC on Sunday. Be why he doesn't pass. Taylor lays it in and score it. And they just double teamed the breath out of DJ Burns and made it very difficult for him to pass out that low block. They just chewed him up and look up all of a sudden it's 42 to 28. The teacher Quavion Smith grabbing that ankle. He rolled it early in the game. And there's that quickness, although that one rolled out. Well, Burns cleared out space, though, for the drive to take place. <laughs> Trying to drag Burns into a ball screen, but he won't bite on it. He's playing drop coverage. Loose ball out of bounds. It'll be NC State basketball. Jimmy, we've seen NC State enough. I think it's fair to say it wouldn't be surprising this year to see a highly ranked ACC team go in and 
take on a, a Wolfpack team and lose. No, no, you know I, what I, mean? I, I agree 100%. They are picked preseason 10th in the ACC. I don't see there's any way that NC State finishes in that bottom half of the ACC this year. There's too many pieces, too much size, and way too much speed in those three guards to not be in every ball game. That rattles home, and Chuck Harris urging the crowd on as they knock down a three. It's only the second three of the game for Butler. They're two for 11, and Harris has nine. Before NC State worries about the ACC, they got to finish this one off first. Butler's one of those teams that just, they're hard to put away. Going to just one-on-one, -on -one. that mid-range game for a guard, as good as you're going to see in the ACC this year. Jarkel Joyner with nine. The Wolfpack leading by 13. Turner, the Purdue transfer, not able to hit. Jack Clark pulls it down. From the corner, Morcel got it. Look, their overall team speed is really outstanding, NC State. It's not just the two guards. Man, they flood the floor in transition. Mahorchik there on the bench can really run for five guys. But they get their shooters to their corners about as quick as you can at the college level. Deep three, got it, Lukosius. First three points of the game for the sophomore from Lithuania. Taylor steps in the passing lane, deflected it, but it gets back to Jarkel Joyner. And now Burns dives on the floor to save it. Elbow jumper, Jarkel Joyner. That's all DJ Burns, though. You're looking at a 6'9", 275-pound dude that just gave up his body and flew at the ball to keep it alive. Nice move there by Chuck Harris. Harris with 11, and a lead back to 13. It's been a while since I've seen a kid like Jarkel Joyner take and make tough twos. His full speed pull up at 14, 15 foot mark, it is really hard to handle. I appreciate the effort of Burns. Soft pause on the offense, and then watch right here. 275, bam, get down on the floor, come up with it. And then Jarkel Joyner takes over. That's that shot I'm talking about. The mid-range game for number one in NC State. Hard to guard. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Lowe's. It's the best place to get everything you need for the holidays. Sebastian, I want you to know that this is the highlight of my trip every time I get to spend time with you. I, I know, 22 years you've been alive and got a couple of babies back there yeah congratulations yeah congratulations on being a dad a recent dad but anyways I love spending my time with you man I can't wait for you to watch the games and, and good luck with your game against the seals this year right after Thanksgiving always always great always great to spend time with you buddy always <laughs> and remember to brush your teeth every now and then it's a special relationship you guys have it, it is it is and his name's Sebastian, close friends, we, I call him Sebo. It's the highlight of my trip every year. Now you're close second, hanging out with you, but Sebastian's special, 22 years old. He just had a couple of pups in the last year, very proud of that. And it's a big game every time they play the Seals. I think it's tomorrow afternoon. So we've, we've worked on his ball screen coverage and his yeah. footwork. He's a load around the rim, uh, very similar to DJ Burns. You establish his position, you're not moving him. What a game this kid has had. 49-36 NC State with the lead. Burns has nine as they get it in. We uh, pass into the game. And trying to thread that needle was for Quavion Smith. They're out, let back him. and down, and yeah. let him go to work. Off the glass and good, he's got 11. <laughs> really good inbound play, just 
throw it, isolate, clear out. Watch him go to work. Hunter hesitates. And he threw it away. Over and back, turnover. Turnover in number 12 on Butler. Bad Mata's up against an NC State team that is hot right now defensively. They're really pressing the ball and overplaying with speed and quickness on the wings. Burns is doing a nice job in drop coverage. Smith contested, thought about shooting, instead gets it to Clark, and he buries it, and that's the way it's gone in this game for NC State. Wolf Pack with 21 points off turnovers, and they're shooting 51%. Out of bounds, it stays with Butler. Kel Joyner checks back in to Quavion Smith will grab a seat. To me, it's a hungry NC State team this year. When you only win 11 games like they did last year, more selling for Quavion Smith. They, they remember that stuff. And they are dog determined to flip that number around this year and make it 21 and 11 instead of 11 and 21. They've got the pieces to do it. Nice cut and pass. What more do you want from your post guy? Yep. I mean, DJ Burns is just manhandling guys around the rim when he gets the ball, but he can really pass the basketball. Hunter lost the handle and a foul. DJ Burns started his career boog at Tennessee, and things didn't work out for him, so he transferred to Winthrop, former Big South Player of the Year. Watch this, the big lefty with a soft paw pass. Catch it, survey the play, bam, bounce, finish. Really well done by NC State. For Atlanta, some tournament MVPs to look back. Quinn Cook, one of them. Jalen Brunson and, and Villanova, they won the tournament and won the whole thing after that. Same thing with DeAndre Hunter and Virginia. James Akinjo, the MVP last year for Baylor as they beat Michigan State. And Santiago Vescovi, he didn't want it. No, the MVP should not be me. That speaks to the culture of Tennessee. There's a lot of great ones out there. Belief, inner strength, and however you want to describe it. None better than Tennessee basketball right now. And that's going to be very deserving. Back in 2017 when Brunson won it, they beat Tennessee in the finals. Tennessee had the lead at half and thought they had the game under control, and Brunson said, no, not tonight. Eleven twenty nine to go in this one. The lead is ballooned to 18 for NC State. Biggest of the game. Taylor, high arcing shot, and it rolls off. Rebound, Hunter, put back. Burns rebounds. And here comes Jarkel Joyner. Pull that a steam, and now slows it down. NC State's hit six straight shots at eight of 10. Want to work on Banks. Yes, sir. He's doing it all. <laughs> really well done by DJ Burns. You know, he's playing hard. I think Kevin just wants to get you know good four-minute stretches out of DJ Burns where his energy stays up. And so far in this game, he has answered the bell. Hunter answers with a bucket. Well, he's not just a transfer from Winthrop. I mean, he was the big South player of the year last exactly. A lot of talent inside that big body. Able to come up there and flip screens, but his hands now are as soft as you're going to find for a big guy. For Quavion Smith and that Mata just slumped over in defeat as Smith was able to slice through and then eventually just lean up and in and 
Scoop at home, the lead now 20. Take away, this is Clark. Pass can hit, Lukosius the rebound. Butler the other way. Hunter will try, got it. You get Butler back to health, full speed health. They're without the Hughes tonight, Jalen Thomas didn't even make the trip out with a lung issue. Ali Ali out with concussion protocol. You don't have your full squad, you're playing against a team that's out of the ACC. It's a tough road to hold for Butler in this one. And Burns gets fouled. That left jump hook of DJ Burns is really, really good. He's going to go right shoulder right there to that left jump hook. I've seen two or three films this year, and he makes a couple of these every ball game. You give him space, he can make that shot going away from the rim. He doesn't have to be going towards the rim on his jump hook. It's kind of unique, but he's got that shot down. That one had a little Kareem Skyhook to it. It did. He, he has amazing hands for a guy they list at 6'9", 275, and, and he's all of it now. gets blocked. They're, they're quicker, NC State is at all four spots. When Burns is in the lineup, you know, that's, he's not going to win his quickness battle. But other than that, NC State is quicker at every position in this game. Hunter uses the screen from Bates and knocks it down for three. And he's got a dozen good players. Point guard at Purdue, he's a proven run your team point guard guy, Big Ten All League defender. Bates blocks his buddy Turquay beyond Smith. Third block for Bates. Quavion Smith is first. Of course, Mandy Bates transfer from NC State. Heard that clip earlier that you know the guys that have carried over he knows well, and even some of the new guys he knows a bit. Hails from Fayetteville. It says a lot about Manny Bates that you can put your name in the transfer portal and leave. And he's still involved in the group text with NC State, you know? That, that doesn't just happen to everybody. That's how well thought of he was and still is as a member of the Wolfpack. Last foul on Jarkel Joyner, it's his second. Taylor catches, Lukosius not able to secure the rebound, but it deflects to Taylor, who steps back. And Butler basketball. Bates, jump hook. Out of bounds. It's our under eight media timeout. And NC State leading by 15. Back here in the Bahamas, how about a look at the field for next year in the battle for Atlantis. Arkansas, Memphis, Michigan, UNC, Northern Iowa, Stanford, Texas Tech, and Villanova 
Jimmy Dykes, that's a field. Yeah, loaded up once again. The battle for Atlantis is right there with any preseason, regular season tournament in the country right now. That just the facilities, Atlantis in general, but man, they continue to bring in teams that are legitimate Final Four contenders year after year. Arkansas is going to be right there again next year with the recruiting class that Eric Musselman's bringing in. Marcel is fouled. And he'll shoot three. I think it's interesting to point out that NC State won 11 games last year. We've talked about that. So they go to the portal. They bring in five guys out of the transfer portal. But only one of them, DJ Burns, played in the NCAA tournament last year. So Joyner, Clark, Mahorchich, those are hungry guys. You know what I'm saying? They come to NC State with a chip on their shoulder saying, man, we, we want to end up our career in an NCAA tournament. And I, I think that's where they're going to end up. Yeah, last year, 21 losses that matched a school record. Bates leaves Hayes, Sebron. And picked 10th in the preseason polls we mentioned previously. Kevin Heath's sixth year. Yeah. With the NCAA his first year. Four straight years now without an NCAA tournament because of the COVID that got canceled. It feels like a big year, I know, to the fan base in NC State, and it is. The proud basketball program, especially when you look up and you see the success that North Carolina and Duke has had over the years. But to me, Kevin Keats has a squad this year that a lot of good days ahead over the next few months. In the spring, they'll be celebrating the 40-year anniversary of the 1983 National Championship. Yeah, the cardiac pack, right? Derek Wittenberg, Lorenzo Charles, and of course, all led by Jim Valvano. Quavion Smith pulls down the miss. All NC State in this one. And they haven't been heavy reliant on the three ball tonight. As Morsell fires from the corner. That's only the 11th attempt from three-point line for NC State. And normally average right around 30. They've been so quick in driving the ball to opponent inside. Really good balance. That's a charge. Or not. <laughs> it sure looked like it from here. More cells. Is he in the restricted arc? Drive it, get set. I think your, your first instinct was correct. I think it was too. <laughs> More cell out of that Virginia system. He, he knows how to rotate over and be in that help position. Tennessee was dynamic with it. In the championship game against Kansas. He just parked out on that white line and smothered shooters. Tennessee right now, by the way, is the number one defensive efficiency team in the country. Free throw by Taylor gives him 15, and that leads all scorers in the game. Russell try. Oh, that looks everything. Taylor knocks it down. He's got 18. And it'll lead down to 12. It just can't quite screw the lid on and say we're done. Can NC State. We've seen a 12-point lead evaporate a lot quicker than six minutes to go. A walk. All right, so the Phil Knight Invitational, the women's bracket, and the championship coming up ESPN2 on Sunday at 7.30 Eastern, North Carolina and Iowa State. Well, number eight, number five. Great, great games up there on the men's and the women's side. What an event celebrating Phil Knight's 85th birthday. I would be a big fan of the men's and the women's Final Four being in the same city. Sure. And just let's just all go there for 
six or seven days and fill up the hotels and space it out where the men's games aren't at the same time as the women's and have a big celebration. I get you. Number six to go. Butler down a dozen. There we go. That's a two. And now they're down ten. NC State's going to have to keep playing. They're going to have to keep guarding. And they cannot take bad shots. They've taken a couple in the last three minutes that's left this door open for Butler. NC State scoreless. Close to five minutes. Didn't need it. And the drought continues. Did not need that shot by Joyner. Smith is second. There's a bonus now. Butler will shoot free throws. Well, that's just the sixth. Bulldogs find Harris. Almost lost the handle. We've got Smith draped on. Bates sets the screen back to Bates. Called the foul on Manny Bates. Little moving screen. His fourth. It felt like a big possession to finally get this thing down to single digits. Now, Lindsey State have some discipline about him on this offensive possession. Move that defense and take a good look. Smith, jumper, rebound Morcell. It's just a tough shot. He didn't make the defense work. Never moved the ball side to side by Smith. Timeout, NC State. No 4.36 shot. to go, and the lead is 10. Those shots are fine when you're up 16, 18, and things are rolling. This game's down to a 10-point game with 4.36 to go, and that shot selection now for NC State's got to get a little bit better. Butler back in it, 4.36 to go. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Bad Boy Mowers Builds a Better Mower. Mow with an attitude. Atlantis, Paradise Island, Bahamas at heart. And complete sports management. See the world through our eyes. Back here at the Bad Boy Mowers Battle for Atlantis. It's a 10-point game. How about some college football rivalry weekend continues tomorrow night. Number six, USC, still with college football playoff hopes. They'll host number 15, Notre Dame. And that's at the Coliseum, 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 Pacific. On ABC and ESPN at the Irish have won each of the last four meetings between the two. Those three guys have carried the scoring load for Butler. Again, only eight guys, not at full strength tonight, but they got this game back with a, give themselves a puncher's chance. Still impressed with NC State, how fast they play. Only five turnovers in the game. They just need a good stretch here of taking good shots, and they're going to be fine. Tip wouldn't go, Clark. And eventually, will they get Smith with a foul? Yep. Now we shoot free throws. And Bates will march down to the other end. Terquavion Smith picks up his third. For most of this game, NC State has played without pressure on him. And Bates has a chance to get this thing to single digits, and they're going to start feeling some game pressure with a wolf pack. And he can't hit the front end of the one and one. NC State, meanwhile, old for its last 11 from the floor.
Clark. Got it. Good ball movement. Yeah, and a good job by Terquavion Smith not to take a tough two. Elevated. Fired the ball with some zip to the corner. Good job by Bates. Got good position and put it home. Yeah, Butler emptied out the backside. There was no help defense involved for Bates. I'd be tempted if I'm NC State. I want to close out the game. I'd put Burns back in and throw the ball around the rim. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Orsell at the basket. Left hand wouldn't go. Harris will take it the other way. And Bates went down hard. And I think he may have lost this contact. Bad Boy Mower has battled for Atlantis. Jimmy Dykes got on the left. Mike Swanson's got on the right. <laughs> NC State leading by 11. And if you're just joining us, where you been? Kansas upending number three, or I should say Tennessee upending number three. Kansas 64-50 and Tennessee the balls. They are your Bad Boy Mowers battle for Atlantis champs. The transfer, Manny Bates got hit in the head, but it looks like he's okay. I think he was having trouble with his contact. Yeah, he was. Butler has NC State. A little bit of foul trouble here. You can drive the ball and try to score without that, without that clock running. And Lukosius not able to get it to go. Getting bumped. And it was Eric Hunter that just kind of collided with him. I'm really impressed with Joyner's handle that basketball. He's He plays low and strong. He's got different gears. He can hesitate and blow by you. He's good with either hand. And he, He's a handful now. I saw him at Ole Miss the last two years. He was a huge scorer in his first year out at Cal State Bakersfield before he transferred to Ole Miss. This is what I'm talking about. His handle and how low and wide and strong. It's hard to get to his ball. He can shoot a lot of free throws this year. I know that. And he's a good free throw shooter. Yeah. Comes in at an 82% career shooter. He's got 13 points in this one. Comes an average of about six free throw attempts per game. That might go even higher as the year goes on. Well, they're down 13. Taylor off the mark. Jaden Taylor leads all scorers with 18. Joyner had it rejected, and it'll stay with NC State. And that jump will go to Quavion Smith. He's been quiet, but he's got 10. That Mata was climbing uphill from the opening tip in this one. Dude, without you know three key guys, that depth on the third night is really difficult to deal with when you're full strength. But everything I've seen from them over the last three days tells me that Thad's going to get this thing turned around. You know, he's, he had season tickets last year at Butler, sat there and watched, and they asked him, "You want to come back and get this thing going?" He jumped on it. Chance to coach at his alma mater. Joiner shot short. 
And we close in on one minute to go. That one off the glass and good. Hey, real quick, Thanksgiving week here in the Bahamas, fun stuff, but we have a big crew of people, most of whom are separated from their families for an extended period of time and want to say thank you so much to everybody in our makeshift truck back there, our camera people, our technicians, our audio people, everybody that helped make this possible, putting in long days, lots of hours. So thanks to our great crew. Happy Thanksgiving and an absolute pleasure to work with you down here in the Bahamas. But we are grateful for your hard work. Absolutely. They have been grinding away, and we get to spend some time with them there in the area where, where we get to eat meals. And they're here early this morning. I was talking to them. They're, they're joyful. They're grateful. They're and just good people to be around. It's, all they do is walk from the hotel to work and walk right back. They don't get to see the sights of Atlantis like you and I do a little bit, but what a great team once again down here to pull this thing off. Joiner at the line. I haven't seen all the teams in the ACC. I know these guys are picked 10th. I find it hard to believe that there's nine teams better in that league. What do you think? Yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> NC State with a win would improve to six and one. Kevin Keats met my daughter Kennedy earlier today. He said they gave you some great advice while you're in Atlanta. Don't go to any games. <laughs> he said, you're 17 years old. Go to the beach, have fun. Your dad can work. He doesn't need you here. DJ <laughs> Burns, our bad boy mowers player of the game. And congratulations to him. He was really, really good tonight. I mean, defensively, he covered his guy. He was good at drop coverage. He kept his feet alive. And offensively, Butler had no answer for D.J. Burns. It was good, good to see for that guy. Now, Jimmy, I thought what you were going to say, Kevin Keats, advice to Kennedy was, when Dad's not looking, go to his wallet and put it all on red. <laughs> she already knows how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Everything on red. Very fortunate to spend the past seven days with you. We started off in Spokane with yeah, but Kentucky and Gonzaga. And we spent a lot of time with one another. It's always a, a blessing and a, a real pleasure to be with you. Really? Yeah, you're the best. Back at you, pal. It's great to spend Thanksgiving with you. Again, our final here in the Bahamas. NC State wins it 76-61. Tennessee, your champ at the Bad Boy Mowers Battle for Atlantis. For Jimmy Dykes and our entire outstanding crew, I'm John Chambi saying so long from the Bahamas. Back to the studio, Kevin Connors, John Crispin, Sean Farnham. <laughs>